hello friends in the previous vid video we have seen just the basic uh, methods and activities of invoke with request commandlet in this video we are going to see a little bit advanced from the previous video if you don't if you didn't watch my previous video go back to my channel and see the first video in this video i am going to show you how can we fetch the product details from flipkart website first let me open flipkart website here i'll search for uh, a laptop so this is a search query i used a lot in previous couple of months for uh, purchasing my laptop okay this is the page in this page we are going to fetch all the product details which is nothing but this uh, product title price and EMI details in the basic configuration configuration which has been shown in this uh, primary div okay first let's see um, before trying before getting into the code directly first let's analyze this uh, page source just let me press F12 here I just want uh, to understand the basic skeleton of this website let me inspect a DOM element First, I'll just check this div. This div has class product hyphen unit and unit hyphen four and browse product in your design space. This is the class of this div. This div contains all the elements of an individual product. So what I'm going to do, I'll just fetch this div's detail. Likewise, based on this class name, I'm going to fetch all the product details using a PowerShell invoke web request commandlet. First, let me open PowerShell. As we did in the previous tutorial, let me store the page source in page variable. Let's copy this URL here. Even um, there is no need of as show on and as is equal to of these are the URL parameters which is being passed in uh, say along with search query. We don't need actually these two parameters. Anyhow, let it be. And okay, this page will be having the latest page source from that URL. As I uh, mentioned in the previous tutorial, we have one uh, parsed in HTML option to parse the HTML DOM after passing this we have an option of three methods get element by ID get element by name get elements by tag name what I am going to do uh, I am not going to uh, fetch the div by ID I am going to fetch by div tag so this will give us the entire uh, div elements list here I am going to apply my filter which is nothing but the class name dollar underscore dot class name equals now we can copy this class name here fine good now I will store these values products in products variable now I'll explain this entire statement the products variable will be having uh, the entire div information which is having the class name product unit and unit for browse product and new design so what we have done here we have passed the page source and we fetch the div elements only div elements and we are piping that output to Vera object this Vera object apply uh, the class name condition to each Developments, then it will return the it will return the objects list, and we are storing that objects in dollar products. Okay, let's hit it. It's analyzing it. Mm. Once we got the command back, then we can move further. Here we should navigate uh, through each products in that dollar products variable.
means taking your time uh, in between let's see uh, if you navigate through this DOM element here because this is what we are going to do next if you see this this is a div tag we have fetched if you see there is two child elements one is the PU visual section this will be having this shortlist value and um, one more added to code somewhere in between it will be there and if you see the second uh, div tag this tag will be having the entire product information including uh, product title ratings and the price CMI information configuration details everything will be residing under this PU details last unit div okay we got our uh, products back let me just check it okay these are all the products fine I will break it what I am going to do I am going to navigate through each product in products okay what I am going to do right first dollar pro dot I'll put inner text. It'll be having the having the entire text inside that uh, product page. Let's verify it once. Okay, here if you see, I just say triple five LA one five six zero, and this is it twenty nine zero eight six. This is the price EMI info. And the second product will be having 25,298. Yes, the data is correct. Here, by navigating through this uh, uh, products details, we can get the child nodes inside. Uh, when we give this one of our shortlist will be the first divs value, as is, and the remaining text will be the second divs value. So here we can fetch, let me check products, I will just go through only one uh, value, products dot, here I have a child notes, child notes I can give uh, zero, it will give the first divs text, correct, short list. If you go to this second one, this will give you the product title and the entire information. So using this, you can fetch the entire product's details. And uh, yeah, this, that's what our uh, objective of this video. So we have fetched all the product's information using uh, uh, searching the specific DOM element inside the page source using PowerShell so keep watching my channel if you like this video subscribe to my channel and get updated with my uploads thank you guys bye